Hello, welcome back. Today's video is on the characteristics of retinal neurons. This is the model of a cell type we'll be talking about today. Every cell has a membrane potential or potential difference between the inside of the cell and the surrounding extracellular fluid. Let me explain. Here is a rod cell. A rod cell is covered by a membrane. This is the inner segment of the cell. And here is the cell nucleus. Here is the synaptic terminal. Now let's surround this cell with an extracellular fluid. Now let's include ions inside of the cell and outside of the cell. The cell membrane allows ion to go inside of the cell. The ion goes inside of the cell from the surrounding extracellular fluid and ions from the inside of the cell goes back into the extracellular fluid the concentration of ions inside of the cell can cause the cell to be either more positively charged or more negatively charged the difference in the concentration of ions inside of the cell and in the surrounding extracellular fluid is what we call the voltage or the membrane potential of the cell. Membrane potential can therefore be defined as the difference in voltage between the interior of a cell and its exterior. The unit for voltage is volts. However, the values of membrane potential is usually given in millivolts. One volt equals 1000 millivolts. Membrane potential is very important in nerve cells because changes in membrane potential are used by the cells to code and transmit information. The membrane potential of retinal neurons range from minus 35 millivolts to minus 70 millivolts the minus means that the inside of the cell is negatively charged with respect to the surrounding extracellular fluid retinal neurons releases neurotransmitters from their synaptic terminal when the memory potential become more positively charged neurotransmitters are used by nerve cells to communicate with other cells or the underlying cells. Glutamate, glycine, and gamma aminobutyric acid or GABA are the neurotransmitters of retinal neurons. Glutamate is released by photoreceptors, bipolar cells, and ganglion cells, whereas glycine and GABA are released by horizontal cells and amacron cells. Resting potential. This is the cell's membrane potential when unstimulated. Neurons return to the rest after every change in the membrane potential. 
the resin potential of photoreceptors is about minus 35 millivolts to minus 45 millivolts why that of horizontal cells is about minus 30 millivolts in their resting states photoreceptors are depolarized photoreceptors are depolarized in dim or dark condition depolarization means the membrane potential becomes more positive retinal neurons releases neurotransmitters when depolarized Hyperpolarization means the membrane potential becomes more negative. The membrane potential of photoreceptors when hyperpolarized is about minus 60 millivolts to minus 70 millivolts. Photoreceptors are hyperpolarized by light. Retinal neurons releases little or no neurotransmitters when hyperpolarized. Graded and action potential. The changes in the membrane potential can be in graded potential or action potential. Graded potential is the changes in the membrane potential that vary in size depending on the size of the stimulus. Action potential is changes in membrane potential that do not vary in the size of the stimulus. The size of the stimulus for action potential must be adequate or no change will occur. Graded potential travels shorter distances. They occur in distal retinal neurons, such as photoreceptors, bipolar cells, and horizontal cells. Action potential, on the other hand, travels longer distances. They occur in ganglion cells and amacron cells. In summary, Retinal neurons have membrane potential. The unit of membrane potential is volt. Usually, membrane potential is written in millivolts. One volt is equal to 1000 millivolts. Next, resting potential. Retinal neurons are in a state of rest when unstimulated. The photoreceptor cell in the dark, they are in the resting state. When they receive light, they become stimulated. Depolarization and hyperpolarization. Depolarization means that inside of the cell is more positive, whereas hyperpolarization means the inside of the cell is more negative. Retinal neurons releases neurotransmitters when depolarized and when they are hyperpolarized, they do not release neurotransmitters. The neurotransmitters of photoreceptor cells, bipolar cells, and ganglion cell is called glutamate, whereas the neurotransmitters of horizontal cells and amacron cells include GABA and glycine. Graded potential and action potential. Graded potential is changes in the memory potential that is dependent on the size of the stimulus, whereas action potential does not depend on the size of the stimulus. Graded potential travels shorter distances, whereas action potential travels longer distances. The cells that have graded potential include the um, photoreceptor cells, the bipolar cells and horizontal cells, whereas ganglion cells and amacron cells, the changes are in action potential. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I'll see you next time.